Hey guys, Flatpak Effects here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this stroke animation. Now, I've just started a new composition here. I'm going to call mine Vine. I can set it to 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second, and I'm going to set my duration to be about four seconds in length, and then hit OK. So the first part of this is I'm going to take my image here and just drag it straight into our new timeline. Now this animation does not just have to be a vine growing around a tree. So I highly recommend exploring your own creativity and really look at other things you can do with this animation. Okay, so the next thing in my clip here is I want to right click and create a new solid. Now I'm going to set this one to be white and I'm going to call this one my vine. Now just for the time being, I'm going to turn this layer off and this will make it much easier for when drawing our mask around our tree. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit here and I'm going to come up to my pen tool and I want to start by drawing a mask shape that goes around our tree. So I'm going to start with that layer selected by clicking here and then it's just a matter of drawing your mask around your tree like so. So now you should have something that looks like this. So the next part of this is we actually want to add a solid stroke layer to that mask. So with that layer selected, I'm going to come up to effect, down to generate, and I want to come down here to the stroke. Now I can just hit all masks here to apply that to all my masks. And also I'm going to come down here and turn this layer back on so we can actually see this mask. I'm going to drag my brush hardness all the way up to 100 and I'm going to drag my brush size up to around six. Then I want to come down here to the actual paint style and I want to make this transparent. And then we will see that stroke appear over our mask. Now the next part is we actually want to isolate the parts that go behind the tree. So we want to hide those parts. So what we're going to do is come down here and take our background layer, come up to edit and down to duplicate. I'm going to drag this on top of that layer so it hides that mask. Then I'm going to hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and just turn the opacity right down. Then I want to select my pen tool and I want to draw a mask over the parts that I want to hide. So I'm going to start by drawing a mask over this part here because I want to hide this section here. So we're trying to hide anything that goes behind the tree. So now I should have my image broken up into different sections like this. So the next part is I want to actually come over here and just turn up that opacity just to hide those layers. Now, if you need to, you can always come back down here and just readjust any of those parts if you need to hide any more or less of that tree. Now, the next part is we actually want to animate our vine. So what I'm going to do is come down to our vine layer and I'm going to create an end keyframe here at the beginning and I'm going to drag this all the way to zero. Then at the end, I'm going to drag this all the way to 100 now if I select that layer and hit U on the keyboard, I can bring up those keyframes. If I select both of those, right click, I can make them both easy ease. Now when I play through, you can see we have our vine growing around our tree. So the next part is we actually want to add the little leaves that grow off the vine. So to do this, all we're simply going to do is just right click and create a new solid. I'm going to call this one leaf and then hit OK. And I'm also just going to turn this one off for the time being so we can see what we're doing. Now I'm going to come down to the start here when this first part actually animates out and I want to draw my leaf right about here. So I'm going to bring up my pen tool again and then it's just a matter of drawing a leaf shape to something like this. So the next part is we actually want to add the stroke to this. So what I'm going to do is select my vine layer down here. I'm going to copy this stroke effect and just paste it onto that leaf layer. Now with that layer selected, I'm just going to hit U on the keyboard to bring up those stroke keyframes. Now I want to line my playhead up right as this vine hits that point, then drag my layer across so it starts at that point. Then I'm going to turn this layer back on so we can see what we're doing. And I'm also going to drop the brush size down to about three here. Then I want to create a start and an end keyframe here, and I want to drag these both to be 50%. Then I'm going to move across about a second or so here. And I'm going to drag my start down to zero, and I want to drag my end up to 100%. Then if I select all those layers, 
right click and make them easy ease. When I play through, you can now see we have that animation playing out. Now, the other thing I want to do is create a scale keyframe for this so that it animates out of the vine. Now to do this, I first need to come up to my pan behind tool and move my anchor point so that it lines up right at the start of that mask layer. Then I'm going to hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale function and I'm going to drag this all the way to zero and then I'm going to animate this out to be 100% at about the two second mark here. Now I'm also just going to select both of those, right click and make them easy ease. Then I can just readjust any of those keyframes so that they all line up. So the next part is I want to add a little bit of rotation onto that leaf. So I'm going to start here about in the middle of this animation and I'm going to hit R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation keyframes. I'm going to create a keyframe there and if I move along in the timeline, I'm just going to animate this very slightly and then another one here. I'm just going to select all those keyframes and make them easy ease. And if we play through, you can see we now have a little bit of movement on that leaf. Now the timing is slightly off here, so I'm just going to readjust this and then readjust those rotation keyframes so they all line up nicely. So the next part of this is really simple because all we need to do is just duplicate that leaf as many times as we need. So what I'm going to do is select that leaf and I'm simply just going to duplicate and I'm going to move along the timeline until I get to my next point and just drag this layer across. And I'm also going to toggle the mask so it just doesn't interfere with moving it. I'm going to drag it up to this next position here, somewhere around here. I'm also just going to readjust this timing and you can see we've now added our second leaf. The other thing I'm going to do is with that layer selected, I'm just going to bring up my rotation keyframes here and I'm going to line my playhead up with one of these rotation keyframes and if I click this, it'll select all those rotation keyframes. Then I can go to my rotation tool by hitting W on the keyboard and rotate this around. And that will allow us to actually rotate that layer without affecting the keyframes that we've just created. So now it's just a matter of duplicating that leaf as many times as you want and repositioning them wherever you need. Now one last thing we can do here to apply that neon effect to all those layers, what I can do is come down here select all those layers and drag them on top of my vine layer so they're all on top of each other. Then I'm just going to select all those layers and create a pre-comp. Then if I open that composition, I can now create an adjustment layer and I can simply just come up to effect. Down to generate, I can add a fill and I can change this color to be whatever you like. Then I can come up to effect, down to stylize and I'm going to add the glow setting. Then it's just a matter of adjusting the glow threshold, the glow radius and the glow intensity. And if I come back to my main composition here, you can see it's automatically updated our main composition. And if I want to change that color, I can simply go back and redo that at any point. So there you go, guys. That's how you create this effect. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more After Effects tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.